a warm welcome to all health science graduates, and particularly to the inaugural class of the Parkinson School of Health Sciences and Public Health. Let me say that again. The graduates of the Parkinson School of Health Sciences and Public Health. It's a significant milestone for you and also one for us. It's hard to imagine that just a little over a year ago, Loyola University launched the Parkinson School. It was through the visionary leadership and the deep dedication to being persons for others that Loyola alums, Bob and Betty Parkinson, along with their family, made a lead gift to establish the school. It's through their exceptional generosity and their commitment to the health sciences and public health and to an entrepreneurial spirit that Bob and Betty are helping us educate the health workforce of tomorrow. So Parkinson graduates, you are the health workforce of the future, all 128 strong of you. You are also the health workforce of today, and indeed, you will become part of the solution to improve population health, whether that be as dietitians, exercise science professionals, healthcare administrators, medical lab scientists, health informaticists, or public health professionals. Certainly, you never could have imagined that upon your graduation here in 2020, you would be entering a world struck and affected so by a global pandemic. Actually, a world in which your degree and your training would offer immediate entry into working in and helping to solve an all too real health crisis on such a magnitude of scale. You know, I think the pandemic shines a light, a spotlight on the critical role and need for public health and science professionals, just like all of you. For example, our medical laboratory scientists may be the experts managing labs and running thousands of COVID-19 tests. Our public health graduates may be leading efforts to implement contact tracing on a major scale. And our exercise science and dietitians are ensuring that we remain healthy at, at our core so that we don't lose sight of good health in light of the pandemic. And our healthcare administration graduates will be working to ensure the resilience of our healthcare system and its effectiveness. Collectively, the public is gaining an important understanding of the value of having a strong public health infrastructure and health system, and its critical role in supporting both the health, but also the economic resiliency of our society. And I hope that some of you will be contributing your talents and expertise to strengthening that very infrastructure. Challenges like the ones we are going through today are exactly what we all train for as healthcare and public health professionals. And I hope that you will always keep in your hearts the Jesuit value on the need to protect the most vulnerable and do all we can to ensure social justice and health equity in all of our work. I imagine that today you may be feeling a mixture of emotions, ones of joy, pride in your accomplishments, but maybe also feelings of uncertainty or even fear. I want you to know that you have the knowledge and the tools to lead the way and meet the challenge as you apply your expertise and live the Jesuit value of being persons for others. We have our faith in you. Know also that you will always be part of our Parkinson family, and we will always be here for you now as you embark on your professional lives and in the future should you have questions or needs of tomorrow. You know, this year is another momentous occasion, the 150th anniversary since Loyola University Chicago opened its doors. And I take pause and note on this as I reflect that during this last century and a half, the world has survived five influenza pandemics, eradicated smallpox, and established effective prevention and control strategies to reduce the impact of other major infectious diseases. In fact, infectious disease control has been cited as one of the 10 greatest accomplishments of public health in the last century. 
So I know we too will survive the current COVID-19 pandemic. And I have such pride in being part of the collective scientific and healthcare workforce and public health professionals rising to the challenge and innovating actually in real time on a global scale. I'm proud that you, our inaugural class of Parkinson graduates and our health science colleagues and graduates will be joining a workforce to help lead the way and chart a clear path forward as we work through reopening and rebuilding our health and community. I am hopeful because each of us is called to be health entrepreneurs, to be agile in our response to health challenges such as these, and to be creative forces as we can think and bring to fruition new approaches, new strategies to improve health and reduce health disparities. So on behalf of Parkinson Interim Dean, Dr. Kathy Bobay, who began the year with you, our faculty and staff who walked the learning journey with you, and as I, founding Dean, we're all proud of you, our inaugural class of Parkinson graduates, and wish you well and much success. In fact, I look forward to welcoming you back to our campus as alum, when I hope that I have the opportunity to shake your hand and exchange hugs. So to close my brief uh, remarks and time with you, I'd like to share a prayer I've read at the Church of the Ascension, a neighborhood church that graces my morning walks. It reads, heal the sick, and provide for their needs, including quality medical care and the need for tender concern of others, that they may regain their strength and their health. Heal us from pride, fear, and mistrust, and give us compassion and courage to assist those in need. Looking to the example of your great humility in this time of uncertainty and sorrow and always. Receive all who died into your loving arms and into the eternal blessings of your light and love. Give wisdom, faith, love, and skill as needed to families and friends, to the grieving and anxious, to paramedics, doctors, nurses, researchers, and all medical and health professionals who seek to help those affected and who put themselves at risk. Give also grace and support to all essential workers who've put themselves at individual risk to help us, to help ensure our safety in our food and medical supply and in our transportation systems. Give to the leaders of all nations, communities and households, determination and foresight to continue to act with charity, intelligence, goodwill, in true concern for the well-being of all. Heal us and give us your true peace. God bless and God speed to you all.